apologies uh the last uh video i did i didn't realize there's a time limit on these <laughs> facebook lives probably just as well because i will uh, keep my videos a bit shorter but just to finish off um the first part of this uh topic you know where the child the daughter mostly is caught between the mother and the father in a spousal relationship with both parents um you know this this can result in 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 many things uh in in the adult daughter's life uh first of all like we've said confusion confusion about who am i uh, what is my role where are the boundaries between me and another person a sense of not feeling safe in any relationship whether that be with a man or with female friends or bosses there's just no boundary any relationship can be sexualized um there can be sexual confusion sexual identity confusion uh the, the daughter may find herself attracting uh the same types of partners as her father maybe sort of sex addicty types um she may find herself tending to be enmeshed emotionally with the woman in her life so female friends uh there may be an, a drive in her to enmesh with other women um she may need a lot of attention you know she got a lot of attention she was desired by both her parents as a child so there's a need to be desired as an adult to have lots of people desiring her desiring to to spend time with her to have her attention uh she may be defensive uh she may not be able to sit with criticism or she may be thin-skinned um and and this is because she was idealized as a child and more than more often than not not given healthy boundaries uh, around her behavior almost sort of given what she wanted she may have difficulty empathizing uh with others because you know she was the center of her parents lives she was the answer to all their woes um and so that's a rather grand position for a child to be in and that can play out in adulthood where you know the adult child can still believe that the world revolves around them a bit understandably um so what do we need to what can we do about this because we can we can free you from this role um if this is something that you've experienced you know first of all um is to is is what you've done today is watch this video and and put words to the shame begun to put words to the shame um secondly i'm going to leave some book titles at the end of this video for you to begin further research because that will help you even more to put words to this to begin empathizing with yourself which is the answer um and then thirdly we can begin right now i mean this is for anyone you might want to ask yourself okay do i carry any shame in my body where is it where do i carry this shame how do i express it you know maybe it's rounded shoulders or a bloated belly or i don't know back pain can even be things like cancer you know breast cancer testicular cancer and when you've located the source of your shame in your body you may want to ask it what what is what is the cause of this shame that you're carrying let that shame in that part of your body speak to you because it holds it holds the answers that you're looking for you know as Bessel van der Kolk says the body keeps the score it does your body used to be the battleground it used to be your tool of sort of getting some love but it no longer needs to be a battleground nor something you use your body now is your greatest ally uh, and it's it's going to be the way that leads you to your authentic self and true love what it means to be truly loved 
Um, so if you've related to any of this today uh, and you'd like to do some real healing of this, because it's, it is going to be needed, um, there's only so much you can do alone. Um, you know, do book in with me. Um, I'll leave my Calendly link in this video. And if you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much to everyone who's subscribed. Um, you know, please do leave your comments. It's really helpful um, for all of us. And, and there are always going to be different opinions about things. We're all growing and learning. And that's the wonderful thing about, about science in some ways is that we get to ask questions. Um, and over time, we discover the truth. Um, and it's not always uh, what we imagine. <laughs> so thank you, everybody. And uh, I shall see you again very soon. Take care. Bye now.